Today I'm going to show you how I built these stools. I'm making a set of three bar stools as a housewarming present. This gives me the opportunity to utilize my CNC router's full 1 by 1 meter bed. I ran a drill operation for the hold down screws. This way I can be sure the screws don't get in the way of the router bit. I made the G code in Kanban and checked the operation order. Here is Buddy, the shop dog. He doesn't mind the sound or dust. I used a 3mm and 6mm bit for this project, using the larger bit to quickly remove the X shape being cut here first. As the two V-shaped legs were designed to slot together, I had to make one leg's brace removable. This was a chance to try out some jigsaw joinery. The tolerances on these parts were tight, so it took a few goes to get perfect. I found that using Universal G-Code Sender was far more reliable than Gerbil Controller, the latter producing a stop and start motion from the machine, which led to a few broken bits. It was nice to be able to start the machine and forget about it. Despite the clean cut on the underside of the board, the top had some tear out and needed sanding. That's the downside of the CD plier I'm using here. From the test fitting of the jigsaw brace, I was pretty happy with the design. I slotted them together and filled in gaps with putty. I sanded all parts as smooth as I could get them with a block sander and 120 grit paper. I wasn't worried about getting this too smooth on the faces as they will be primed and painted. The end grain was designed to stay exposed, so it was sanded with a finer grit. After filling and sanding, the joins are hardly noticeable. You can see here the quality of the ply on the back stool with that big knot that got pretty close to the cut. I filled in all these knot holes with PVA sawdust mix before cutting. I masked the stools with painter's tape and primed and painted them with a gloss alkyd enamel. When the tape came off, the lines were pretty clean but needed a little sanding. The end grain was coated with a clear satin varnish and the drips cleaned up with an old pair of jocks. I'm pretty happy with the results, but there are improvements to be made on this design. There's a link to the design files in the description. 